Uh, hello! Right. Uh, this is one of the last days of the filming of Makers 1. And we're having some fun. <laughs> so how is this? Let me take you on a journey. One of the most memorable parts I would imagine was when Shai first came back from New York and said that he wanted to make a film about this. The rest is history. <laughs> Look what I've got here. I've got a baby here. It's the baby camera of the makers. It's been amazing with guys like Severin and Shy and everybody else involved. I mean, you you couldn't um, you couldn't really um, wish for things to be any different. <laughs> uh, hello. After three years, the last day of filming and two distribution deals. This is Seven's last voiceover of the film, everybody. <laughs> it has been, uh, well, it's been rather enjoyable, really. Uh, <laughs> hanging out in sound studios, um, drinking lots of Interesting water. drinks. Still, <laughs> <laughs> two, two Thank you, Render Yard. <laughs> and a soundtrack. And the possibility of a sequel. Two sequels. It's amazing. Can I say? So, I'm, I'm, I'm hay fever enough, you have Jeez. just finished your voiceover for the makers. What were your last lines? Levels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Regional, national, and international levels. And what were your beginning lines? I have to excuse Shy, he has hay fever. Uh, he will not have that. Um, at the first screening, but look out for him and uh, maybe bring some tissues with you. I think it is excused with all the work he has done with all the editing. Oh, How long yeah. have you been working on the editing? Tell us. Quite a long time. <laughs> you haven't Jeez. slept? Pardon? You haven't slept for editing the film? I haven't slept for a while. Been and working full time as well. How was Can? Tell us. Oh, Can, man. Can was beautiful. Yeah, I can't really sleep when I'm inspired, so. Yo, what up? In the interview that we did with Tim, um, he was a BAFTA um, in his um, official capacity as one of the sponsors of the Kodak Student Film Awards. Yo, what up? And he spoke about the importance of um, encouraging new talent, also supporting new talent, and also about what Fugitive Film have to offer, the facilities that they have to offer independent filmmakers Fugitives like ourselves globally for British, specifically British, homegrown film talent. The most important documentary on the British independent film industry of its time. So. <laughs> didn't you meet some of the people that were um, connected with the film down in Cannes? Yeah, I did, yeah. Sorry. Who did you meet? Uh, Tim, Tim Baxter. Who is Tim Baxter? He, he's one of the MDs for Fugitive Films. Looking to buy about ten copies. Are you actually going to buy with your own money? Of okay. course. I spoke to one of our um, uh, guys that works with us, Craig Russell Roy. Um, the other day we were in a meeting about the film and the opening titles and everything. And you know, I, I said to him, you know, have you checked out the soundtrack? And you said, checked it out. He had just flown back from New York and he said, checked it out. I bought it. And I was just like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> The music just helped take, tell the story. It helped tell the story and it helped 
the more, journey. Than, more than 20 artists. There's 20 artists yeah. on the album, but yeah. there's more than 20 artists that have contributed um, to, the, um, to, the, to, to the music. Um, what are the essential copies for? Itself. For my friends and family. Yeah, friends and family. Talking about this film, yeah. The film, and we're just like, yeah, it's it's. it's oh, oh, film, oh yeah, it's the same yeah. film. Um, I suppose, what would you call it? Like the pre preview of the whole makers. That technically, filmmaking um, never stops. So this is sort of the whole vibe of um, makers in the process which is our story about UK British film. Yes, yes. And then, we, and then the girl that was in the cab with Philip was the girl that girl, we interviewed. Who, who we interviewed you, at the hospital club. club. And she was just like, what's going on? You know, and we were going to this party and, and we had no idea that, 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 that there was that connection yeah. at all. And yeah. she was just like, oh, hello, yeah. how do you know these people? And we're like, and so it really is a small world, you know. That that was that was that was a moment. And and you know, Nick Powell, National Film School, that was great. That was great. Getting his interview. So Philip is in India now and he met the Dalai Lama, hasn't of he? Of course, yes. The of face course. of makers. Yes. Is in India right now after meeting the Dalai Lama. And so, uh, makers will be in India at some point. I would imagine so. It's the home of film. Same as London, same as Los Angeles, so, you know, they've got stories down there that need to be told. Being in the Makers has been so far an amazing experience. But there is going to be a Makers 2 and there is going to be a Makers 3. And I can't wait. So much out there for us. As Severin said, as Shai said, whatever, the technology, the technology is evolving by the minute. Um, the 3D, HD, IMAX, there's, there's so many different things going on. That's just the technology, but the creativity and the platforms for you to be able to deliver your work are now becoming endless. Which is what we talked about today, the importance of social media in distribution. I was in the Soho shorts and I met Ahmed in there. And yeah, it's been an honor for me. To Where's be part Rush's hat? Yeah. Uh, that's all right, you know. Yeah. That, 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 that. Yeah. I like it. I like no, I'm it. not messing around there. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. Yeah, I need to get incredible journey so far. Being part of it, seeing the interviews, everything, seeing the development of the film, and getting that contract with Render Yard. As we're talking about sponsors, can you show us the leaflet? Because I've noticed a very interesting well, sponsor. Global I mean, Forestry Investment, um, who are one of our sponsors and um, they're um, doing all they can to um, promote uh, re renewable natural yeah. energy. We so went with them um, Dubai. to Dubai and we went to the oil barrels ball. Remarkable, we yeah. actually managed to take yes. yeah. A tree yeah. sponsor, a forestry sponsor to an oil event. Yes, yes, and that shows how the world is changing. Um, through the power of film. We shot a fantastic film while we were there um, that hopefully will help them in what they're doing and will also help us with what we're doing. It was at the amphitheatre at the Media City, 2,500 of um, the top um, people within the oil industry um, from around the world and we were there to witness the new oil baron being um, crowned. We really learned a lot from that experience and uh, we would like to go back to Dubai and... Um, wow, and the world more. is changing. Oh, it's changing. And it's changing and there's a lot more stories to tell and a lot more documentaries to be made. And how is the wait to see them on film and to learn and to share the passion of
from place to place I see 